I still have the lap of two, can I? Try and get another shot in. <laughs> uh, take that. Hello, you lovely people out there. This is the Ruby Evolution. Welcome back to my channel. Now, today we're having a look at the new German Premium 9.0 tank, uh, the Leopard A1A1. With armed with that 120 millimeter L44 Ramatal cannon. Now I have a lot to say about this uh, tank. To be honest, I've been playing it since uh, the new patch came out uh, earlier this week, and uh, I'm going to be comparing it a lot to the other 9.0 premium, the XM1. I'm not going to be comparing it that much to the T55 AM because it has a bit different battle rating and the fact that I don't actually have the T55 so I can't really formulate a proper opinion on it at this time. But anyway, the, um, the Leopard, yeah, for all intents and purposes, the Leopard itself is a standard Leopard A1A1. The hull is the same, the engine is the same, it has the same weaknesses, it has the same layout inside of it with the massive weakness of where the ammo is stored. It doesn't have any composite armor, and um, yeah, it's. Um, I'm not sure it's really good enough for 9.0. If you have a look at this compared to, like, say, the XM1, like I said, the XM1 has spaced armor. Granted, it's not the best, but it still has spaced armor, and it's also got uh, composite armor on the turret as well to absorb those shots a lot better. The Leopard gets penetrated so much so easily from so many targets obviously you're supposed to not get hit in the leopard but in 9.0 it can be really challenging with that considering that it's not the quickest either if the leopard was really really quick i could forgive it like say with the leopard 2k but it's not as quick as that it's got 830 horsepower which is the same as the the standard leopard but i do I found that I've struggled to get into some really good positions, especially when you're facing the XM1 with that 1,500 horsepower. This thing is just a speed demon across the battlefield, and it can get to any position it wants pretty easily. The Leopard is a little bit sluggish in comparison. It might be because I'm so used to playing the XM1 that it's a little bit of a step back uh, in terms of like, gameplay. The main plus with the Leopard is that addition of that 120 millimeter gun, which is really, really nice on this tank. Um, it has two shell types. It has the armor fin, fin stabilized with a 417 millimeters penetration at 10 meters, which is really, really nice indeed for a 9.0 tank. Um, good reload rate, 8.1 seconds, which is comparable to the XM1. Uh, it's also got heat, um, heat fin stabilized. 650 uh, millimeters of penetration on that so yeah the gun is like a big step up compared to the standard leopard a1 a1 which has um this shell with 385 millimeters of penetration so it does have better penetration than the, the leopard a1 a1 it's also got better penetration than the xm1 shell as well which only has 360 millimeters of penetration however I find that the XM1's gun is still f f um, more than an enough to be able to compete with any other tank at its tier, and even up to 9.7, 10.0. It doesn't matter that it doesn't have as much penetration, because it can get themselves into those spots where you can hit the sides of tanks. Of that. With the Leopard, you can't really do that so easily, so you are going to have to go through the front holes of tanks more often, and it is nice to have that extra... Um, penetration values on the tank. In the grand scheme of thing, thing, um, things though, it doesn't really massively matter that it has more penetration on the girl, gun. The thing that's limited I find with the Leopard is the speed of it and the fact that it just hasn't got any armour at all. Anyway, I'm going to be taking this out in ground realistic battle today, uh, showing you hopefully what it's capable of. We'll see. <laughs> 
I have struggled normally to get some good games in this, but I'm sure I'll be able to. Uh, so anyway, let's get started. Let's go. Okay, welcome to Normandy. We are versing our favourite American friends uh, with the British, with uh, the Russians on our team. We have been up tiered to 10.0. Uh, I've got to cap C first. Uh, take it from there. It looks like the rest of the team are going to A. And as you can see, the, the Leopard is pretty much a uh, normal Leopard. But uh, it can't keep up. Look, look at the T80 going. Definitely that quite sluggish compared to the other tanks. Obviously that's a 10.0 tank. One thing I missed in the, the hangar is that the Leopard has a grenade launchers, which the XM1 doesn't. Uh, it's only got the one use 8 grenade launchers, but it's still a really nice addition to have. I find that in the XM1 it can be get those tricky situations where a grenade launcher would be very useful. And it's a, a really nice addition to have on the Leopard. Yeah, nice one. Well, that ended quickly enough. Okay, welcome to Eastern Province. We are being up tiered to 9.7 at least in this game because we have a Leopard 2K on our team. Spotting. There's another one in the cap. I think he's behind this building. Oh no, poor shot. Oh my god, I'm a dead. Oh, hang on, can we live? Ooh. Ooh, that was that was dirty. That was very dirty. We actually didn't die then. Okay, that's a uh, cap A. That was very lucky, very lucky we didn't die. Okay, we have uh, got Kreeman back up. A few more rounds. Let's uh, head to B, I think. Ooh, there's a guy right in front of us. Can't see him just yet. 255, okay. Where's he gone? These new T-55s really light up like a Christmas tree if you shoot them in the right place. The gun on the Leopard is very good. It is very good. It's, it's just the tank that it's on. Is, it's really good if it was, say, 8.7, I think, but it's because it's 9.0 and it gets dragged up into those 10.0 games, I think, is one of the main issues with it. Target, target. Cool. Four kills now. Is there anyone else down here? See him. I don't see him. Nice crit. Shame it wasn't the engine. Oh, he's got pine colour now. Let's 
update, just there. Has he moved? Oh, I might have moved. Ah. Cheeky bugger. Okay, so we moved into B, but their team has disintegrated in the meantime, so there's only one guy left now. A lot of them have spawned into uh, aircraft and they've all been uh, taken out. Which means we now have the advantage. And there we go. Four kills in that game. Um, yeah, I think the the Leopard is definitely capable of taking on the, the T-55, like, absolutely no problem. It's it's the XM1 I think it struggles with, uh, really versing. But anyway, let's carry on. Uh, 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 come on! Uh. Okay, welcome to Eastern Europe. Again, we are up tiered to another 10.0 game. No surprise there, versus just the USSR in this game. So I help these guys flanking around to the right, and we've already had one guy been taken out right at the start of the game by a helicopter. I'm really not sure how I think about helicopters being able to spawn in at the start, to be honest. Like, helicopters and um, aircraft should be earned, not, not given at the start. I don't agree with this at all. Uh, let's get into uh, some cover because I can see the rocket coming in for us. Really not a fan of this, I must admit. Ah, uh, there he goes. There he goes, but he's already got two kills at the start of the game. From very little. And he's still finding fire at us. I really don't agree with agree with that. Whoops. He stopped just when I was about to fire. There you go, nice fire. I missed. There we go, set up. There we go, nicely knocked out the T-64. Okay, looks like all our guys that went right have uh, just miraculously died. Just not good. It was... Oh. And... They're dead already. Oh, oh, okay. Luck is on our side this game. We'll repair up. Okay, we're now up again. Let's uh, just carry on as we were. Our uh, team's getting taken out. In fact, I think it's pretty even on the team scores. Back of the turret of the T-64, always a nice weakness. Just one way to put them out of their misery really quick. Somebody over here, I think. Yes, there is. Oh, 
come on. Too high. Oh, here comes death. Oh, here it comes. These helicopters. I still hit the Leopard 2K. Trying to get another shot in. Ha ha ha! Take that! Oh, oh, missile's going absolutely haywire. This is other one. Oh, he's been shot down as well. Ah, helicopters. So deadly and yet so so fragile. Oh no! Oh, oh. Is he back up again? He's not happy with me, is he? Oh, that's close. I still a few of them up. Yeah, that's it. You run away. You run away, helicopter. You must be out of missiles. That's the only reason I can think why I'm still alive here. So that certainly wasn't the best game, but an entertaining game nonetheless. It highlights quite a few of the things that are wrong with the, the new patch I feel with the, the helicopters uh, being able to spawn in at the start yeah, being a massive problem at the moment I'm not sure I agree with that at all anyway moving on uh, uh, Okay, welcome to Poland. It's another top tier game versus Russia. We have some interesting choice of uh, people in this game playing Tigers and Panthers. Probably, no doubt, they've got just a premium top tier tank. Kind of like me, to be honest. I don't have any other 9.0 tanks yet for Germany. I'm going to try and be sneaky here. Oh, that guy's got multiple problems now. Okay, I'm just gonna leave him. Always missed the shot, thank fuck. Oh my god, that was lucky. Right, 264 down. And there's another guy right in front of me. And then... T55 down. Oh, we're, we're living on borrowed time here. Yeah, we're living on borrowed time, but that was a really good start, though. Okay, he's dead. I thought there's a tank behind him, but he's a wreck. Side someone. I just got into cover. There's sort of a guy just there. Never mind. Should probably help cat break up here. Let's 
take him out quickly. Okay. He would have pinged where I was, so I need to move. Okay, I think we're in a really nice spot here. Nice T-54 dead. This is this is where the Leopard's good. If it can get itself into the right position, it's... Granted, it can't get itself out there very often, but it, if it can, it's... Definitely a match for anything. It just has to get into the right game, hang on. Let's take out this uh, object. 120. And there's another guy behind him. Let's reload. Ah! Oh, oh shit. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. It's all going so well. So I hope you enjoyed today's video on the Leopard A1A1 with a 120mm cannon. Uh, my thoughts and opinion on this new premium. I'm not really sure of it to be honest. It's It struggles a lot when it gets up tiered to 10.0 and I've been up tiered a lot uh, trying to get this video sorted. Um, yeah, the, the fact that it has no armour on it, it's, it's really badly armoured, it hasn't got any composite. The, the crew are quite tightly packed in the turret. This tank gets one shot so much, so much. And while the, the tank is it's pretty good in terms of speed, it's it's not a slow tank by any means, but it, is it quick enough for like for 9.0 and 10.0? And I don't think it really is, to be honest. The gun on it is really nice. The, the, the 120 millimeter is a really powerful gun. Um, it has a really nice shell with that 417mm penetration, which is more than adequate at dealing with any tank up to 10.0. But I find that uh, the lack of armour in it is just such a massive weakness with it. If, if you're spotted, you're dead in this. It's as simple as that. If you're top tier, it, that's when it's really competitive and it can shine through. If it's top tier, it can, it can compete for the speed with the other comparable tanks. And then you can get into those good positions and then you can really quite dominantly work the enemy team then from like a good advantage point. For whether I'd recommend the, the Premium Leopard, uh, it really boils down there to if you play the just exclusively the German tanks. If you play exclusively just play the German tanks, then I'd definitely recommend the Leopard A1A1 for you. It's a really fun machine, it has a really powerful cannon, um, it's just like any of a high tier um, leopard in the game. The speed in it is pretty decent. It's not the best by any means, especially if it gets up tier. But if it's top dog, this this is a really fun tank and it's a really powerful uh, platform. However, if you're choosing between this and the XM1, and uh, you play both the Americans and the Germans, I definitely recommend the XM1 over the leopard. And there's a couple of reasons for this. Um, with the, the XM1, it has that composite armor on it, which means that you can bounce some of those shots, uh, especially like heat rounds and stuff. Granted, it's not the best armor by any stretch, but at least it can actually bounce something, unlike the Leopard, which normally just gets one shot by everything which hits it. Um, the XM1 has just that ridiculous engine in it, and it has that ridiculous top speed, and I find that it's always fun to play the XM1, you, you speed around the map, you're shooting on the moves, you get into those flanking positions and you can get the sides of those enemy tanks, which you just can't do in the Leopard tank, because it's just that slightly bit slower. Um, there's also the fact that I think the high tier um, support like aircraft and he like helicopters and that which you can have with the XM1, where with the Germans you, you're limited with what aircraft you have, there's no helicopters yet, and there's just no 
high tier real ground attack aircraft you can have whereas with the XM1 you've got the, um, the Fury, you have the, the new helicopters they've added um, and you've got the, the B-57s or the, the, the Sabres as well and for me I think the XM1 definitely clearly wins out of the two let me know in the comments below whether you, you agree with my opinion whether you have the Leopard tank, whether you have the, the XM1 um, anyway, I hope you've uh, enjoyed today's video. Uh, please like, comment, share, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you in the next one uh, sometime soon. Bye!